Welcome everyone to Learning with Rev. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to install virtual environments on uh, with Anaconda on a Linux machine. And we're also going to discuss why you should use a virtual environment. So a virtual environment is a way to isolate your libraries and scripts from other installations of them in other environments. This means you can have different versions of Python or just different versions of packages installed and they will not conflict with each other. This is really useful if you're working on several projects at the same time, and these projects may require different dependencies, and these dependencies may have different versions. It's also really useful to have because you can export your environment, uh, so you can send it to another person along with your code, and that way you can ensure all your code will work perfectly on any other machine, whether someone else is developing with you, or if they are deploying to another device. So the first thing I recommend anyone is to look at the Conda cheat sheet. You can find it on the Conda website, and this one here is for Conda 4.6, but our version is a different version, but it's going to be the exact same. And we'll pull this up side by side with our terminal. That way we can work on both at the same time. So we can just look at the first thing that pops up is Conda info. You can see where it's installed, uh, what our Conda version is, and our Python version. So our Python version here is 3.8.5. Uh, uh, over here, it's going to be Python 3.6 is the default. But uh, we can work with environments and uh, create any version of Python we want. If we notice here, we have something called base on the left here. This is the default environment that Anaconda puts you in. Uh, so if we do conda env list, this will list all of our virtual environments for us. We have one, it's called our base environment. So whenever you open up your terminal, it will default to this environment. And if we open up Python, we can see that we're in Python 3.8.5. But let's say we want to be in a different version of Python. So what we can do is we can look at the cheat sheet on the right here. And the first thing here is working with environments. Type conda create name. We're going to call this pi 3.4. And we'll do python equals 3.4. And I chose this version of Python for a specific reason. Uh, there were some changes that happened around Python 3.5, which we can use as an example here in just a minute. So while that was downloading, we'll just uh, wait. Oh, it, it finished. So that's good. Now, if we go to conda in the list, we should see two environments that pop up. We do not. Oh, Python 3.4 is not available. OK, so we're going to have to go with 3.5. Now we can see all the libraries that are the default with this version of Python. Three point five should work just as well with our example here. So, uh, and while these are installing, uh, we'll just pause for a minute, and I will be right back. Welcome back. Now, as we can see here, our environment has now been installed. Uh, we did accidentally leave the name pi 3.4 on there, but that is OK. If we do conda in the list, we should see two environments that pop up. And there they are. So what we can do here is we could do conda activate pi 3.4. So now we are in. Uh, it's actually 3.5. I just named it incorrectly, but that's okay. Our Python version is 3.5.6. So what we can do here is we can do any Python uh, thing that we really want to. We can print hello. We can print using an F string. Oh, 
doesn't work. Why did that fail? That's because F strings have only been in 3.6 and higher. So what we can do is we can exit this version of Python, Honda activate base. So now we're in our base environment. We're back in here. And now we can show that F strings work. And it works. F strings are just a new type of string formatting uh, that people use. Uh, there were many old ways to print things. Let's say we had x equals uh, John. Uh, you could also do print uh, hello x, hello John. Uh, you could also do print hello this and then dot format x hello john but now what you can do here is we can go to our f string and we can put x in there many different ways you can do it and as you can see in python 3.8 that is possible but in python 3.5.6 and below that is not possible in our next video, I'll be setting up some more packages in Python. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.